Yeah, that I didn't know. What's that? That I didn't know. Yeah. We were going to uh, um, Heritage Baptist down in uh, Tampa. Mm -hmm. But. Um, I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In his first 10 days, let's see, he did, he yeah. sold 11,000. You want me to try to beat him? Yeah, we need someone to beat his record. I mean, that was like a year ago that he said it. So. <laughs> but he did, he did like 26 appointments in 10 days, which, um, and he'll even tell you he could have done even more, you know. If right. he, like, knowing what he knows now, he would have done a lot more. But, um, so definitely just be consistent. And I know you're not in school or anything, so you can just load up your right. days. Oh, and just, I'm going to. Yeah, just working smart. And the weekends are best because people are off. So, mm -hmm. Monday's awesome because a lot of people are working. Yeah. yeah. Lots of them. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try getting all these that I wrote down. I know that on Sunday. They don't want to be talked to on Sunday. Right. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> now, like, we get paid by the appointment. Mm -hmm. right? Now, my entire family gets together on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to do a group one. Um, and they'll. You might even have family members who are like, oh, I'll just do it all at once. But what you want to do is just say, I actually have to do it per couple, you know? Mm -hmm. um, group appointments are annoying and frustrating because what happens is people are talking all at once and you can't go through your demo. It doesn't flow. You know, Eric will tell you, too, he actually had an appointment. Um, he's like, Mandy, it was so frustrating because people kept talking, you know what I mean? So um, so what I would do is, you can even blame it on me, I don't care. Just say, like, my manager really wants me to see you guys one-on-one -on -one, because that will give you the right practice right. for your demo. Okay. So. But I understand because it does seem like you could kill someone for the person wants to know. Right. But, um, All right. Yeah. Totally legitimate question. It is more personal, you know, because people people don't want to make big investments in front of people they know, you know, unless it's like a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. Are you still transferring names over there? Me? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, we can just stop. Them. Yeah, I'll have you mark off where you are now. Yeah, that's um, fine. We'll move on to the next part, but. Um, I'll give you guys yeah, up two. Should I go get it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can eat while we're going it, so that way you can stick in. Okay. Definitely. Which thing that you stuck in the borderline diabetic? Okay. So the, yeah, we're going to um, keep on, keep on, keep on, because I want to help you guys out to get um, out of here too, because day two is like tons of information. Um, so, on the top of um, page 17 in your manual, I'll have you write down these two rules, okay? So, um, the first one is only see Max your first weekend, okay? Because um, that way you're going to get the right right uh, demos in there, and then you get the right people from those people, obviously. Okay? And never prejudge a Mac customer. You want to see every Mac you know, every person who you know that's married, 30 to 60, and owns a house. Um, now, remember, we're not prejudging, we're just qualifying people. 
Um, again, prejudging would be um, page 17. And if you need to use the desk, you can use it to write on. So um, you want to see every Mac that you know, okay? And don't leave out anybody who is a Mac just because you maybe haven't talked to them in a long time. Um, you don't want to be chicken. Everybody has what's called a chicken list, you know, where there are people that you're like, oh, I haven't talked to them in a long time. Or um, someone that was on my, my chicken list was like my ex-boyfriend's mom, you know. And this was years ago, nine years ago. But I was like, oh, it's going to be awkward. And when I finally got the guts to call her, I was too late because someone had just sold her car off. You know, so you want to see every single Mac that you know. Um, my brother... I, I called his friend's parents, even though I didn't know them very well. Okay, my brother was 13 when I started selling Cutco. So he was young, and he was a good age because all of his friend's parents are people who cooked. Good. And one of the people I saw, the Cussworths, I was nervous to call them because they're kind of intimidating. They're both police officers, and they just scare me. And they're both, like, five feet tall, too. Um, but they're both, like, really intimidating. Her husband's like, you know. But I did the demo for them. They didn't buy anything. But the people they referred me to, I sold $17,000 to their friends. To all their friends, they gave me, they gave me their neighbors and everybody they work with because they work for the same company. So wow. I'm really glad I called them. So that's why you want to see every Mac you know, okay? Mm -hmm. And I, I really, I'm really glad I did. And what happened was their son started selling Cutco the following summer. So if I would have not called them, then their son would have gotten all those people. Okay. Now, by the way, they, he saw some of the same people I did, and they just, mm -hmm. you know, some of those people lost stuff. But anyway, see every Mac you know. All right. Um, so. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you guys a schedule, okay, a template for a schedule. And you guys all have different lives, okay? Um, so what I love most about this is we don't say, hey, work then, you know, work then. Besides training, okay, it's important to let your family know that your first, you know, your first experience with a job, you're in the office a lot more than you, you'll ever be in the office because you're learning. And we have different checkpoints when you first start in the office where you come in and we, you know, get you on track to go get to the next level. But so it's important that your family and my friends don't just, you know, it's not always this crazy. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you guys put in anything in your schedule that you know you can't miss. Okay? If you have anything like you have church Sunday, just block that off, you know? Because um, I'm never going to say, hey, do a demo instead, you know? Or if you have, like, school or something like that, which I don't think anyone here does. But, like, when you're getting your son off the bus, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and if you, so if you guys want to take, so this starts tomorrow. So I have Saturday training and then it says there's a potential time for you to do your first appointment. So, all right. So, I'm gonna take that. Um, if you guys want a highlighter, a lot of people on our team will block off um, like different, you know, things in color. You know, so if you want to block off, like um, Ricky, if you want one of these to block off church, you know, so you can color coordinate things. Um, if you want like a pink one. I'm going to put all the, like, Cutco office stuff in green. So that's for your first 10 days for your fat start. So, um, so if you notice the, where it has the double dollar signs, those are your best appointment times. Okay? Why do you think the best appointment times are evenings and weekends? Because when people have to work. Yeah, so when people are home. Um, so those are the best appointment mm -hmm. times. So anything you do. Don't write anything. Just highlight. Um, yeah, yeah. If you have church, you can write. You can write. So um, every person on the planet has 24 hours in the day. I've never met anybody who can make their time magically have, make themselves have more time. But, you know, even the President of the United States and, you know, homeless guy, Mr. Dale, have the same amount of time in the day. But it, it's all about just managing your time by, by being detailed with your schedule. You know, that's really important. So um, the only time I've ever seen someone not do extremely well with 